wintry pot, this Aurelia Balfouriana. It's now in a 10 inch pot, and I'm gonna put it into a 13 inch pot, which should give it some room to move. Now, a lot of people I've noticed really want to go out and repot their plants, but the best way to tell if your plant needs to be repotted, and this is what I've found, is to poke your finger down in the soil, and if you can barely move it through, as is the case in this Aurelia balfouriana, then go ahead and repot it. Now the first thing you want to do with these big plants is to tap the side of the pot. You can use the scissors like this, and that should get the plant able to come right out of the pot. Now we'll see here, this is always a delicate process with these big plants. Yes, it's coming out nice and slowly. And as you can see, it's come out as one big root ball. So now I'm gonna put it into this 13 inch pot. And what you do is first, you need to add potting soil. And then when you get that in, pat it down nice and firmly. That's important so that the water runs through evenly when you water it. Now I can tell this still needs more potting soil. So I'm going to add some more and again pat it down very firmly. Now take your plant and set it in the pot and you want to make sure there's at least an inch or two from the top of the pot, from the top of the soil line, so that when you put on water, you can put on plenty enough water for it to go through. And in this case, it is. And I'm going to take off a little bit of its excess top soil here. And now we're ready to fill in the sides. So get my potting soil again, and I see my plant wants to fall over, but once it's repotted, it should be a little more stable. Then I'll straighten it up and smooth it out. And again, let me see if I can show you this here. You want to pat the soil down, especially around the sides, very firmly. Then all you have to do is finish filling up to the soil line with potting soil and give your plant a good soak. It's really that simple. It is kind of messy and you probably want to take on a job like this with such a big plant during the summertime when you can do it outdoors. But it's well worth the effort when it needs to be done. So that's about it, and I know at the end of the summer, I'm going to leave this out because it has been a little bit on the thin side, but by the end of the summer, it'll be beautiful and full. You'll probably hardly even recognize it. Don't forget to water now.